how I like to start my video. Taking a picture of the stack of boxes that I've saved up over the last couple of weeks. I think it's been two or three weeks since I got all these boxes in. I just stacked them up here by the window because I like to do my video right here by the window. The light is really good. So we're going to grab a hold of these 12 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to open them up and see what's in there because I've forgotten. I did write on the sides of some of the boxes what was in there because I was really looking forward to a couple of things in here. Actually, I look forward to everything, but uh, we're going to open them up and let's hope for the best. Maybe there's some really, really good stuff in there. All right, we got to bring these over to the table. First one is a Mantis in light green in a blister pack. Now, one of the things I'd really like in a Mantis, I'd really like a minty, minty, minty light green that I could take out of a blister pack and would be pristine. But I doubt if that'll ever happen. I keep trying. If I see a light greens and blister packs, I'm definitely going to get them. Because I'd like a really, really pretty light green. That'd be like the apple. Some people call it the apple green. So let's take a look. Maybe this this will be the one. Nicely packaged in here. Got some nice bubble wrap. Stuck to itself, which is good. Not a lot of tape. Oh, looks good so far. Oh, a nice package though. Let's see. I see there's no hole punched out on that. I like that. Oh, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. This thing is a beauty. This thing is a beauty. There is no toning on that, and it's got a shiny base. So this is definitely the light green mantis of my dreams. I wish the package was trash. Then I could take it out and put it on the shelf, but this package is beautiful. So that's going to have to stay in there for the next ever number of years. I'm not sure how many, but I might be tempted to take it out. But look how pristine that package is. Very rare to see a package that pristine. It looked like it was made yesterday. Wow, that's a beauty. All right. Dig that. This next box, I don't even know what's in it. I think it might be a Johnny Lightning. I did get one Johnny Lightning GTO. I missed out on like three other ones. It just went higher than I wanted to bid. Nope, this is not a Johnny Lightning GTO. This is a Matchbox. Super fast. Oh yeah, Police Cruiser. I can't get enough of these, so I got to order them from time to time. The police Cruiser is always real popular. This box is not in very good shape, but the car is real nice. This is a 1970 model, super fast with super fast wheels, transitional, thin wheels. Those are the hardest to get ones, and this one is real nice. Box is kind of beat up though, but I think I have a box, so that'll make a nice pairing with a better box. Got a super shiny grill on the front, so that's good. Yeah, that's a nice piece. All right. This next one is another blister pack. I don't recall which one this is. I think it might be a Firebird, a 68 Firebird in red. Hope it's a good one. I had one already, but I sold it. Wanted to get another one. Hopefully this is a good, it's interesting. Okay, it's got a piece of, all right, let's see how we're gonna do this. Got some tape. Across the front and a plastic bag inside. All right, interesting packing job. Nope, it's a blue hot heap. I've had a couple of these lately. These are really popular, and I uh, just keep buying them if I can find them. Oh wowie, this is unpunched. This motor on this hot heap, I think, is probably the shiniest one I've ever seen. It is amazingly bright. Let's check out the base. Yeah, the base is about normal. It's got a little bluing on it. Wheels are nice. Got one little scuff on the front wheel there. Nice fat chrome. It's got the extra fat red lines. It's kind of a thin and some fat. The button's offset printed, so it's not exactly right. Take a look close look at that. You can see that sometimes they get too far to one side or the other, so the button's kind of messed up. But that car is gorgeous. That motor is super bright. Yeah, that's a beauty. And Unpunch. That's the second nice blister pack today. Love that. I think this might be the GTO. I think it was orange, if I'm not mistaken. I'd like to get some more GTOs. I haven't had any for a while. I do like them. 
Hard to get a really nice one though. A lot of people like the GTO. Of course, muscle cars are the most popular category in any kind of collectible. Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Oh yeah. That one is bright. That one is bright. It's got a little bit of scuffs on it. Looks like, um, hmm. Looks like this hood was all touched up at one time with some sort of orange pen or something. Don't believe I noticed that in the uh, listing, but there it is. It's what happens when you don't pay attention too closely. Looks like somebody took an orange pen and just kind of scribbled that in. But overall, it looks okay. Got the opening doors. Don't stay open. One stays open. The other one doesn't. But those are nice. That's a good little car. It'll display well. From the side, looks really good. Nice little orange GTO. All right, this is the Firebird blister pack in this box. Let's open her up and see how she is. Let's see if it's a good one. That box open. That's a good size box. I like this 8x8x4. It's a good size box for shipping a blister pack. Plenty of room for packing material. Everything like that. Get that open. Nicely packaged in there. A huge mass here. Got a lot of nice packing materials today. Look at that. Another pink bag. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, well, we got a wrinkled package. Don't like that so much, but look at the paint job on this. I might have bought this one to open. It has got some brilliant red paint. It really does, and it's got that red interior. I love that. Huh, that's interesting. Now, this is a Hong Kong car, but look at that windshield. It's clear. That is not a blue windshield. I wonder if that is supposed to have a blue windshield. This may be a super early run. Ooh, look at that. It is in a cheetah pack. 68 cheetah pack. Smooth on the sides here. Got the white card underneath, which I really like. Mattel Toymakers on the sign there. This could be a very early one, maybe prior to uh, using the blue glass. I guess we'll have to check and find out on that. That's a beauty, though. Look at that. Love that car. That is pretty. I Yeah, red with the red interior. I haven't had a one in a blister pack before, red with red interior. That chrome base is really spectacular, and that front grille looks really, really nice. That really is a beautiful car. I think I'll be happy with that. That is a beauty. Be kind of tough to pull that out of the blister, even though it's got some wrinkles on it. If it wasn't in a cheetah pack, probably pull that out, but... Being a cheetah pack, that's good stuff. You don't want to mess with that too much. Even this blister pack, if I took the car out of the package, even the blister pack would be worth 40 bucks. Because they're so popular. Very popular cheetah blister pack. Alright, the next box here, I wrote down on the side, it has a Vicky and a 36 Ford Coupe in it. I'll find out. Is it, uh, I should have like a... Like, like a TV show, what do they say? Is it trash or is it treasure? Let's find out. Is it flip? Are we going to flip or flop? Are we going to succeed or fail? What do you think? What would we say? Is it uh, mint or not? Oh, look at that. Okay, what do we got? We got some sticky residue. That's never good. Package is actually quite nice. Except for the sticky residue, the car is bright, and look at that chrome. I think, yeah, I think I may have to open this one because I like the 36 Ford Coupes a lot, and it is really hard to get chrome bases on 36 Ford Coupes. It's almost as if they make them in two ways, with chrome and without, because most of them don't have the shiny base. And if you don't have the shiny base, you're not going to get the shiny grill. So you literally can collect a set of all the colors in either shiny or non-shiny. And I don't mean that just aged or anything, but just never shiny to begin with. This is definitely one of the shiny ones. I wonder if I can get that sticker residue off there. If anybody's got any ideas other than just orange glow, uh, let me know. Because I 
really like to get that sticker residue off that package right there because otherwise this is a really really nice coupe really really nice okay so there's one more in here a Vicky love the Vicky the Ford Coupe oh look at that hey how this is interesting a cheetah pack 67 cheetah pack with a Ford Vicky in it how weird is that a tell toy makers card hmm it's got to be an early run wonder how that happened cheetah card that's a beautiful card USA Hong Kong let's see 67 it's got the original 16 on there but it does have a Vicky and the Vicky is beautiful look at that super super shiny motor super super pristine paint that thing is gorgeous that is a nice pair of coops and biggies guess you can't really call them a pair just need a woody to go with that maybe a 57 t-bird but I, I like to get all three colors of the vicky the woody and the ford coupe and display them together in the same matching colors some of the colors are awfully hard to get I never, I probably never will get the hardest one colors like the pinks or the browns, apple green, apple green on these just like impossible and the woody doesn't even come in it so forget about that. But that's a nice set of cars, a nice set of cars today. Oh, so this is really a big day for blister packs around here. Now I want you to uh, stay tuned to my channel because starting tomorrow I have got a thousand over a thousand cars coming in the biggest collection ever thousand cars and i will be talking about them right here on my youtube channel so subscribe so that you know when things are coming and you can take a look at all my videos i have 82 videos so far 82 videos and I'm gonna keep rolling with the videos let's see what we got here i think this is a noodle head Needlehead seems to be look. I must be getting a lot of blister packs from the same guy with the pink bags Very nice. Oh Look at that Wowee Whoa wee wow gee many Christmas Gadzooks holy mackerel That's insane. Look at the chrome on that. I love the noodle head, but man is it impossible to collect with bright chrome the chrome, as soon as you start touching it, just goes right to heck. This thing is phenomenal. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. That thing is super beautiful. Wowee. That is amazing. Wow. Hmm. That's gorgeous. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's that beautiful. Wow. All right, that was great. All right, here's another box, and I do believe that there is one more blister pack to be found in this group of boxes today for Sunday, January 24th, 2016. Another great year to collect Hot Wheels. And in a two more years, we'll have the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels, and that is going to be super duper exciting. What is in this? Oh yeah, Dodge Charger Blister Pack. I hope it's nice. Dodge Chargers are really, really hard to get in perfect condition or beautiful condition or anything close. They are really tough. And I know this guy sent me this and he's got some good stuff. So let's open it up and see what we got. Looks like the Blister Pack Protector is new. Not everybody will send you a new blister pack protector with your car all right it's covered up all right are we ready for the reveal uh oh this is kind of loosey-goosey on the top uh oh a little loosey-goosey on that blister right up there better be careful pulling off this stuff I may let's see don't want to pull that apart oh that is a little loose up there that up real careful oh my gosh I wasn't sure if this was gonna be red or rose but this puppy is ro -o -o's. 
and it is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Chargers pretty much guarantee every charger is going to have some sort of issue. If not the car, the package. The car, this particular car has a darkened hood, but the body is beautiful. Chrome is blue. It's not shiny. But that has a beautiful paint job. Rose is really tough to get. And that package is real weak. It's not um, not really glued very well. It's coming undone in many places there. I don't believe it's been taken out and put back in. That's definitely a mint car and a mint pack. But it is pretty. That is a nice charger. That is a nice charger. And I think I'm going to end this session of opening boxes and let's do a review of what came in today it's a fabulous seven pack of blister packs let's go take a look all right here we go taking a look at the blister packs that came in today look at that red firebird it is beautiful i think i might be zoomed in a little bit too whoa too much let's come back on that a little bit there we go get that nice and clear wow that is pretty that is a pretty one. So we go from the red Firebird with red interior Hong Kong to the blue Hot Heap USA smoke and shiny motor. Cruising on down to 1969. Here's the Dodge Charger in rose. Beautiful rose colored Dodge Charger. Here's the blue Vicky. That Vicky is nice. The paint on that is amazing. Next in line, we've got the Aqua Ford Coupe. Aqua's always considered to be sort of a common color, but this one has got this shiny, shiny chrome. With the shiny chrome, you get the shiny front grille, and that is sweet. Over here next, 1970, the Mantis in apple green, light green. That is a pretty car. And finally, over here at the other end, we've got the Noodle Head. Noodlehead and Magenta, and that has got shiny smoking chrome motors, and I love me some chrome shiny motor. All right, that was great. So thanks a lot for coming along and taking a look at these blister packs today and watching me open these packages. I like to share that with you. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. You can sign up for email notifications every time I post a video. Come on down and take a look. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. David at ToyCarCollector.com or ToyCarCollector at gmail.com. Don't forget the car in the middle of the toy and the collector. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for stopping along today and watching the video. And you have yourself a great day and I hope you find all the red lines that you possibly could want. And thanks a lot. Bye for now.